Hello, this is Overlord Boat, and we're back with another video with SAT score. And today we'll be talking about Grand Battles and if they were overhyped. So, Grand Battles is a unique game mode where there's three super battleships that are paired up with six tier uh, nine or ten ships. This new unique mode is also put in to try to introduce the new skills uh, for the Hanover and the Saitsume, and I'll let SAT score start us off. All right. That is the basic summary of Grand Battles. The battleships themselves are kind of like super battleship what's is if if the various nations think they could have developed and deployed a super battleship. So you have the Japanese Atsuma and we have the German Navy Hanover. Hanover. Yep. Mm -hmm. Unique to those two battleships is a some sort of mechanic. The more you fire, basically you fire your main guns and when they hit the target, they fill up a meter. Once that meter is filled, your accuracy is significantly increased for about 50 seconds. So, yep. with that being said, what are your impressions about the two battleships so far? So, I feel like the two battleships They'd be a lot more, like, they're strong, but at the same time, though, they're just giant damage sponges as a way, as best to describe it as, it's so easy for them to get farmed by DDs and cruisers. They do have a good reload for their guns, their turret diverse is a little bit slow, and the Hanover has decent secondaries whenever the skill is activated. But at the same time, though, it doesn't feel like they're super, like, you know? You'd expect these super battleships to be able to tank a lot. But in actuality, they die pretty quick. Like, against other battleships, they're they're tanky-ish. Like, they can still get penned. They're not going to get Citadel because they have really, really thick Citadels. But the problem is, is that they take a lot of pin damage and a lot of HE damage. And since the fires and flooding is percent, percent wise, these HE throwing DDs and cruisers that you'll be seeing later in the match, they will just eat you alive. And there's almost nothing you can do about it. Like, yes, you'll get a lucky shot here and there, but these guns are so big that most cruisers, you're just going to overpen them no matter what you do. And the secondaries don't do enough to confiscate that. Those are actually pretty similar to when I played the Super Battleships. It didn't feel like they're much of an upgrade over our current tier 10s. Like, we already have Yamato, Shikishima, that can overmatch 32mm armor. The two new battleships have that, with some more HP. But as you said, the fires and flooding do percent damage, so they kind of ignore that. Yep. And... And since they're a lot bigger and less maneuverable, it's very easy for other ships just to hit them with HE, for group, for carriers to uh, hit them with bombs or torpedoes. So they're just bigger damage sponges, that's it. Easy to farm, just like every other tier 10 battleship. Yep, pretty much. And with these matches, all of the special battleships were always key targets. So all of the, spe the DDs and cruisers would always focus them no matter what. So they would get farmed out pretty quickly. And like the thing is though, the unique skill, which takes about, it takes four full salvos in pretty much quick succession to be able to get the skill to activate. Now this skill, you do not have the ability to manually activate it. It's an automatically it's pretty much automatically activated as soon as it gets full. So you can time it kinda, but at the same time you can't. So in this match, it would have been better if you'll see in a second where I would have had the ability to activate when the club air first popped out on the one line to where the secondaries were really accurate. But as soon as this salvo goes out and hits the Montana, that's when it's gonna activate. And this is gonna make it where it increases the range by 30% for the secondaries, and it makes it where it's 40% more accurate with a faster reload as well. And now these secondaries have a very nice pin. 
But for most of the battleships and such, it's going to do an okay amount of damage, but it's more meant for like cruisers and DDs to hit with the secondaries. If there's a DD that's within that range and they're just sitting within like 10, 11 kilometers, they're just going to get rained upon. But you would expect more secondaries on these super battleships. Like if you look at the ship itself, there's a lot of empty room where they could have had more guns. Like these are supposedly super battleships where carriers in the area where there's no carriers. So you would expect them to place as many guns on these things as possible, but it kind of seems like they didn't do that. And this mode kind of just gets wrecked upon by DDs and cruisers that are able to hide in smoke or super maneuverable. <laughs> Aside from the uh, unique uh, meter and the increased aim when it's charged up, the new battleships honestly don't really bring anything new. They're just another giant pinata for the cruisers and and destroyers to farm damage off of. Exactly. Even the battleship, even the other battleships and carriers. Exactly. And you would see, you would think that these giant behemoths would have a better DCP too. But their DCP timer and their heal timer is super long. Like, as you can see, I'm already double fired and I'm losing so much health. Just because I can't DCP and you'd expect that being a super battleship, it would be able to handle it, but it can't. I moved in just a little bit too close. I showed my broadside a little bit too long against the other Satsume that I didn't see. He was over there on the C2 line and see him and it kind of, it kind of, uh, it's upsetting because, like, these super battleships, I was expecting to be a lot of fun. Because I do love playing battleships, and it's what I really love to do. Best shout out battleships and secondary battleships. But it's just this whole mode, I just, I, I can't. It's just, this mode's pretty much just been nothing but a mode to where DDs and cruisers can just practice their farming for random battles, pretty much. Because that's all this is. What do you think Warcamy can do to fix this? I think the best way to fix it is to make it where the battleships have a faster DCP timer and a heal and make the secondaries on these ships a little bit more accurate. Like these are supposed to be super battleships. So you'd expect, and it takes a long time to grind out the information. It pretty much, it takes you five battles to be able to get to play one. So five battles, to play one because you get three information per and it takes 14 to play one hmm. so for a much time you're investing into playing it should be like way worth it to play these things but it's not and that's the issue but in the end i i do enjoy it for the dds and cruisers but for playing as a super battleship i don't think it's worth it given their vulnerability right now especially to fires and flooding, it seems that reducing the DCP time would be, a uh, reload time would be a interesting idea. I was thinking, what if Wargaming were to reduce the fire duration or reduce how much damage the fires or, and flooding does per tick? That would also that would be a that. very important, that would be a huge change that would definitely help. But I feel like the Grand Battles is more of a test for those two new special perks for the battleship so i feel like they just wanted to see how those perks did and see if anybody complained about them mm. and as of right now no one's complaining about them so it kind of confirms the test that people like the the skills it's just the the battleships are kind of weak so or, or just underwhelming compared to what we expected exactly exactly but that's all the time we have for the day. Thank you so much again, SAT score. If you guys have any questions or concerns, definitely leave them down below. But definitely, Grand Battles was overhyped. It does seem like the, the, the Super Battleships are not as super as their name says. So I'll talk to y'all later. See y'all around. Hey guys, this is Overlord Bo. Just want to thank y'all for watching today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I love reading your guys' comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Blech!